Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, the water's fine. We'll get started here in just a second. All right. Hello, hello. We are getting started here for the first event of the spreadsheet golf season. So come on in. We'll run through the rules, how this whole thing is going to go, and then we will get started with round one. So here we go. I'll give everybody just a minute or two. I'm assuming uh, everyone can hear me just fine. If you can, throw something in the chat so I know we're, we're good here. But I think we are. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, spreadsheet golf. This is, if you have not heard anything about this, if you did not watch any of the practice rounds, I'm going to simulate uh, one round each day. So one round uh, today, tomorrow on Friday, one round on Saturday, and one round on Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern time on all of the streams so that uh, we will simulate this golf tournament. And, and the cool part about this is that I've actually created this little model where it's going to use the real, you know, birdie rate, bogey rate for all of the golfers. So while there will be a random number generator that determines the outcome of the hole, if you are Rory McIlroy, uh, you will have more favorable outcomes than someone like, I don't even know who is at the bottom of this. Uh, let's see who would be at the bottom here. Someone like a Corey Connors, for example. You, you, Rory would have many more favorable outcomes. We have 67 paid entries. If you missed out, I know a couple of people already DM'd me or sent me an email. If you missed out this week, we'll do it again next week, and we're going to do the match play. So a little bit of teaser, a little spoiler on this. Uh, we will be drawing the match play pods. We will be doing it just like the WGC match play. And I may even have a guest on uh, to uh, help me go through those pods and break down what they look like. So more details on that as we get closer. But for today, uh, we are going to do round one. And after every single round, there are payouts. So these 67 entries, $25 a piece. You have uh, your finish based on each round pays out, and then obviously the overall finish for your team and for your lineups. The ownership uh, and all of the lineups can be can be navigated to down here on the bottom tab, so you can see everyone's team name and then the distribution of their ownerships. Right. So, for example, 41% of the lineups have Webb, same number for Hideki, and almost half of you have Colin Morikawa. Um, the scoring tab will keep track of your DraftKings totals. Now, for right now, the way this works is, um, if I go to my leaderboard, you'll see here, everyone is being assigned 39 DraftKings points right now. That is because they are all tied for first, and the system, the spreadsheet thinks they've played 18 holes and they've made par on each one. So that will fluctuate even all the way through the 18th hole. So keep that in mind. Um, and then also, um, I'm trying to think what else here. Oh, every golfer plays each hole at the same time. So everyone is going to play hole one, everyone is going to play hole two, hole three, and so, so on and so forth. So we will look at the standings after each one. I've got scorecards here, but that's basically the same thing as the leaderboard. So I don't think we need to get into all of that. Um, let me just make sure and see that I've gone through all of the rules. 
the prize payouts are there. There are additional prizes. If you are a, a DFS on demand member, I'll give out those prizes below the, the pin flag from the players, which is probably a collector's item at this point. And then some hats and some mugs for those who also finish uh, in the top five. Uh, let's see. Six golfers chosen one by tier. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. I think we are ready to rock and roll here. So what we're going to do, uh, the course that we are playing today is going to be TPC Sawgrass. So we're going to, we're going to fix the players. Okay. We're going to go play the players championship. We'll skip the Valspar, which in theory should have been this week. And then next week for the match play, we will play Austin country club in match play format. That'll be a new spreadsheet that I'll have to figure out, but we should be all good there. All right. Uh, hole number one, you know what it is. It's this par four, 418 yards, uh, fairly easy, but it actually plays over par. So let's get to this. Uh, the way that this is going to work, I am going to uh, randomly generate a, a number from one to 100 through all of the players for hole number one. 66 is my default for, uh, it's just an even par for everybody. So I will randomly generate a number from one to 100 for Rory, and then I will drag it down for every player in the field. Now, when I do this, Rory is going to be assigned a random number to start, and his number is going to change when I drag it down for everybody. So his number is not official until I drag it down and get everybody's random number. Let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Good luck, everybody. Oh, good question, Sean. I will, um, the spreadsheet, if you want to get to this spreadsheet, I tweeted it out, but uh, I will also post it in the chat as well. And I'll make sure to include it in the description uh, moving forward. But here we go. Uh, we are going to play hole number one, TPC Sawgrass of Spreadsheet Golf. So random number between one and 100. Uh, that 28 for Rory does not count. Okay. It will now count as I drag this down and all of these numbers are now official. So let's head over to the leaderboard and I will show you what this means. Okay. So if I sort this uh, by position, you're going to see that Webb Simpson has gotten out of the gate in a hurry and he has already birdied the first. So we've got 12 birdies on hole number one, some of the most popular names. So Webb Simpson and Hideki Matsuyama, two of the most popular golfers on the slate have made birdie out of the gate along with Justin Rose, Patrick Cantlay, Bryson DeChambeau amongst others. We will scroll down to the bottom and see that Bubba Watson, Tommy Fleetwood, Adam Hadwin, Tony Finau, and Matt Wallace all bogeyed. I don't think Matt Wallace is owned in this. Uh, Tommy Fleetwood, where's our boy Tommy? Only 4%. So I don't think this is really, who else? Finau, Hadwin, and Bubba. I don't think that's really impacting anybody too badly here. Finau might be pretty popular. I don't even see him. Am I missing him? No one picked Tony Finau. Wow. Okay. So I don't think that those bogeys are really impacting anyone, uh, anyone whatsoever. If you were paying attention to the practice rounds, uh, Webb Simpson is really good in this format. <laughs> Webb Simpson uh, had a couple of really good practice rounds and he gets it started here with a birdie on number one. And now we head to the par five second hole number two, 546 yards at TPC Sawgrass. This is a gettable hole today. So let's uh, randomize our results here. These are now official. That is not a good number for Rory. I can already see that. We will head back over to the leaderboard, and oh my goodness. Let me give it a little sort, but I already see that Webb Simpson is on a little bit of a streak. All of you chalk eaters are loving this out of the gate. So we've got six guys who have made birdie on the first two, including the Todd father, Corey Connors, Patrick Reed, Danny Willett, Shane Lowry, and of course, Webb Simpson. Uh, Justin Thomas, Ricky Fowler, amongst those who are on the board. Justin Rose gives his birdie back immediately with a bogey on number two. That's a hard, uh, that's a pretty difficult hole to bogey if you were Justin Rose, but I think he yanked one uh, left off the tee. He had to punch out. It was kind of ugly. It took him a while to get back into play. 
And Phil Mickelson, no surprise here. If you can't drive the ball around TPC Sawgrass, you're going to be in big trouble. He is absolutely dead off the tee, ends up making a double on the par five, which is absolutely brutal. And a couple of bounce backs uh, for Tommy Fleetwood and Adam Hadwin to get themselves back into it. I will uh, show you the scoring here. So I'll update the scoring every couple of holes. But remember, technically speaking, if a hole has not been played yet, you are getting credit for a par. So these will change up until the very last minute. But UK fan, one, two, three, four, five, very, very uh, ge generic name you have there, is off to a very hot start and leads this through two holes with 167 draft Kings points. It's a team of John Rahm, Webb Simpson, Shane Lowry, Billy Ho, Scotty Scheffler, and Brendan Todd, and then General Chow right behind with 161 points. All right, let's go back. We are now headed to hole number three, which is the uh, par three, 177 yards. Pretty easy pin position today, right in the middle of the hole. That's on Thursday. That will get more difficult as we go along. Remember, this is just round one that we are simulating right now. Oh, that's a really good number for... Oh, Roy, it's not his number. Sorry, I got too excited there. That's not Rory's number. Now it is officially Rory's number. <laughs> 22. I will make these official, and we will go back to the leaderboard, and oh my gosh. Uh, you're not going to get points for a birdie streak here. Uh, there are no bonuses. There are no uh, streaks in play, but Webb Simpson has been scorching hot, uh, not only in real life, but also in the spreadsheet golf world in which the practice rounds and now in the opening round of the Players' Championship played in a spreadsheet where golf should be played, quite frankly, he's buried another birdie. And he is now three in a row out of the gate. Uh, Hideki gets one to jump up into a, what is that, nine-way tie for second place. Shane Lowry drops a shot. Uh, Justin Rose going for your, for your draft king scoring here. Uh, birdie, bogey, birdie. That's helpful. Tommy Fleetwood, two in a row. Ricky Fowler, J Jazz, Jana Wadanand, uh, and Ches Reeve give one back. Mark Leishman with a double. Graham McDowell with a double. That is uh, not good. Not good on the par three. Let's head over to our scoring spreadsheet here. And yeah, UK fan has already dropped out of the lead here because of that Lowry bogey. Let's see who is now on top. General Chow, Justin Thomas, Patrick Reed, Hideki, Kevin Na, Jason Day, Corey Connors, 179 points, doing well. Um, trying to see if I know. I don't have a lineup in here. I figured probably not a good look if I had a lineup uh, and I was uh, doing this as well. So I do not have a lineup in this event. All right, hole number four is the... 392 yard par four. This is the one where you see all the historic shots, you know, where the ball gets held up on the, uh, on the bank over here. You've got to go over the, the little body of water on your second shot. Um, in the old Tiger Woods games, you could drive the green from here. So that's always a pretty, pretty fun one. It does play under par. So let's simulate hole number four of the opening round here. All right, these are official. We are going to head back over. Uh, Webb Simpson finally cools off and makes a par. Uh, but it's Justin Thomas with three in a row. Okay, so JT gets into a two-way tie with Webb Simpson at the top. Uh, and then a handful of guys right behind two under through four Sergio Garcia. It's funny. I mentioned it. Sergio did hit his tee shot over here into this bunker, uh, was not able to, to hit a, hit the, hit the green with his second shot. It was just kind of a, a really awkward stance for him. So he ends up making a bogey on the fourth hole. Uh, Ricky Fowler bounces back with a, a birdie on the fourth as well. Oh, and Billy Ho, uh, the lineups with Billy Ho, that's a double on number four. Uh, not a good start for him. He is now two under through four, and it's Leishman, Billy Ho, and Phil Mickelson rounding out 
the bottom of this leaderboard. This it's only it's a condensed field. There's only what 56 golfers in the field, uh, something like that. So we will head back over to the scoring tab here, and we will find out who our leader is. General Chow. Oh, look at all these JT lineups that just popped up. Yeah, JT is owned at 22%. So he's the third most popular option in the in tier one. So he's ahead of Rom. He's ahead of uh, Rory at the moment. So uh, all those JT lineups certainly helping out here. And it's General Chow in first with B Watts 449 right behind. Where is Rory? Let's find some of the, the notables here. Okay, so Rory's one under through four. Where's Rom? Rom's here at even through four. Uh, who else? Here's Bryson, one under through four. Brooks is even through four. Brooks has made four straight pars, so that's a clean scorecard, uh, but nothing to write home about. All right, the par five fourth looks like this. A uh, little bit of water doesn't really come into play on uh, your tee shot here. This is your landing area. Fairly straightforward shot into the second. Um, I will pay you Eric Patterson, <laughs> Epat S. If Lowry wins, uh, will I pay out the hundred to one ticket? Um, sure. On on one cent, I'll send you uh, one American dollar, which I don't know if the exchange rate is is very good right now, but uh, you got it, buddy. All right, uh, hole number five coming up. Oh, that might be a bogey for Rory. That might be a bogey for Rory. Uh oh, I already saw a little bit of a uh, little bit of something there at the top of the leaderboard. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. JT makes bogey on number five, and looky who is now tied for the lead. Not only Patrick Reed, but Byun Hyun On. Yeah, baby. Benny on. I don't even know. Let's see what Benny's ownership is. 4%. You dogs. How could you not play uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Ben on, who uh, rolled in a 33 foot putt on the fifth? Yeah, Benny on strokes gain putting uh, already 1.3 on the round. He's made three birdies in his first five holes. Really going to be interesting to see if he can hold on to that. Tommy Fleetwood has not made a par yet. Uh, He's bookended three birdies with two bogeys. Uh, he's still one under through five. Keegan, Jordan Spieth, Matt Kuchar, they all bogey the fifth hole. And uh, it is still ugly down here for, for Paul Casey. Although I will say the guys who were uh, previously in dead last, Billy Ho, Mark Leishman, Phil Mickelson, have all made birdies on the fifth. So now it is Paul Casey in dead last. Let's go and simulate the par four sixth hole. Okay. Well, let me uh, let me sort this really quickly. But I can I can't help myself but to to quick uh, look at some of these. Because I kind of know what's going on here. All right. So that par, that par 4 6, very gettable. If you need a visual, here it is. Uh, it's, it's very short, 379 yards. The fairway runs out a little bit. You hit a good drive. It's just a little bit of a flip wedge in. And a lot of guys took advantage of it, including Webb Simpson, who after two, two pars goes out and makes a birdie on the 6th. Brendan Todd, Hideki Matsuyama, Shane Lowry uh, back into a tie for second. Rory did make one, so those Tier 1 guys. So now the Tier 1 guys are Rory, JT, uh, who else? Brooks, I think, is in there. And it would probably be, I think, DJ and one, uh, one other. Cantlay? Who's, in, who's the last guy? Oh, Rom, excuse me. And John Rom. So here's your tier one guys that I've just highlighted here. Brooks is even through six, which is the worst of all of them. Uh, the rest of the guys are all under par with JT, uh, DJ, and Rory at two under. 
Uh, okay, so we are in here. Let's check out the bottom. I always like to see the guys that are blowing up as well. Kisner and Casey both make bogey on sixth. They are uh, burying your lineups if you have them. Speaking of lineups, let's head over to the leaderboard, the scoring tab, and see who is in the lead. It was General Chow. I'm not sure it's going to be him anymore. Oh, it's Faust. Faust is in our DFS On Demand Slack channel. Um, so he has now taken the lead through six holes. UK fan, one, two, three, four, five, uh, right behind, 171 and a half points. K Yalawega, I believe I'm saying that right. K Philly KP, Franchise, one, Mo Money, Nate Knox, uh, all certainly within striking distance. I mean, I suppose... Everyone is within striking distance at the moment, but uh, look at all these Webb Simpson lineups. All these Tier 2 Webb Simpson lineups certainly paying off. I'm actually impressed by, like, the General Chow Indica lineups because uh, they don't have Webb Simpson, or I guess even these two, the, the Patrick Cantlay ones, to be near, you know, on the first page of the leaderboard with uh, without Webb Simpson. Pretty good at this point. Okay, hole number seven. 458 yard par four slight dog leg right a vast fairway bunker and lateral water hazard that's a beautiful way to describe that uh only uh 12 percent of birdies were made here i bet you in spreadsheet golf this is playing a little bit easier we've got the best players in the world conditions are prime this morning uh it is uh a lot of fun <laughs> Foss says i might as well end it here and, and pay out <laughs> yeah you would yeah, i think you would like that um all right here we go random number between one and 100 hole number seven coming at you all right whoops wrong tab my bad so I saw something and this is uh, oh wow there's a couple of them oh my goodness so this is this is a rare sight gentlemen this is really cool so not only do we have one but we had two hole outs on the par four seventh John Rom he was sitting oh let's see he hit his drive about 310 right down here so he had 140 in that was probably just a pitching wedge for him bounces past the hole he spins it back he's playing with terrell hatton that's the crazy part because hatton then goes and drops one right on top of rom's ball back-to-back -back eagles you will be seeing that that highlight on youtube for years to come uh, as they both are able to to hole out from the fairway uh, but lots of birdies here Webb gets another. Hideki gets another. JT is on the board. My goodness, the big boys have come to play today. Uh, Phil Mickelson. Okay, so Phil, after doubling the second and was two over through four, has now made three birdies in a row to get to the uh, to get back under par. Pretty good stuff. And then Paul Casey, the the terrible day continues. Uh, now five over through seven. He luckily. Uh, this is a no-cut event, so he's going to be playing all four rounds, but this is uh, not pretty for Paul Casey down at the bottom of the leaderboard. Hole number eight. Actually, here's what we'll do. I'm going to say we'll simulate the next two to get through the front nine, then we'll go to the scoring and see how much it's changed and get the updated, uh, get the updated information here. So uh, the par three eighth. So here's the par three eighth. It is a very long, uh, they, this, this can be the longest of the par threes, 234 yards. Uh, it, it's a big boy. It's an absolute big boy here. So let's see how the best players on earth can handle this one. All right. Uh, let's head back to the leaderboard. Let's give this another sort here. All right. So on the eighth hole, oh, look at this run from, from John Rom. John Rom was dormant through five holes. He was even through five making pars on all of them. He has now played his last three at four under par. Benny on also got one. On the par three eighth, Patrick Cantlay, Louis Oosthuizen, and Cam Smith currently cashing those top five tickets as they get into a tie for fifth. Hatton, the reverse bounce back. 
could not follow up his eagle, uh, ends up making bogey on the fourth. He actually, um, he hit his ball. The, the pin's actually a little bit more to the right here. He found this baby little bunker, couldn't get up and down, short-sided himself. A uh, very difficult situation for Hatton to get up and down from, but he makes bogey on the eighth. A uh, couple of darts here from, from Keegan, Kevin Na, Scotty Scheffler, Billy Ho. They all get birdies. And, uh, hey, Paul Casey made a par. How about that? Okay. We will now head to the ninth. It is a par five. I'll give you a look at it here. There it is. You know this hole. Uh, this is the one where you, you want to be – when you. so this is the green, obviously, down here. You want your drive to be as long and basically as right as possible. So if you hit one like right here, uh, you'd have the best angle coming into this. But it, it it's an animal. It's a uh, it's a long hole. You really got to hit a good one there. Here we go. We are gonna find. We are about to uh, wrap up the first nine and see where we stand here. We'll make these results official. And we will refresh the leaderboard. And we will see how we are halfway through round number one of Spreadsheet Golf. All right, John Rahm continues his absolute scorch, even through five, now five under through his last four. He ties Webb Simpson at the top. That's the scary part about John Rahm, right? He can get absolutely scorching at any moment, and he actually leads in DraftKings scoring because of the way that he's done it with the bogey. Uh, just one shot back is a handful of golfers. Uh, Hideki, Benny On, Patrick Reed, Patrick Cantlay, Louis Oosthuizen. Not bad here. A couple of bogeys from Todd and Lowry. Kisner makes a double on the uh, on the ninth there. Paul Casey does get one back. Matt Wallace gets one back. So here's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to pull up the results here. Let's see how we stand. Whoops, I don't have all of them. Let's see how we stand here. Halfway through round number one. Oh my goodness, it is a barn burner. Look at this. The top four guys separated by six DraftKings points. You go down even further than that. Unbelievable. This is really tight. So the Mo joking, the Mo joking, I guess is actually what it is. Not the Mo joking. I assume it's the Mo joking. Uh, a a one point lead over K Yalawaiga, uh, two hundred and three and a half to two hundred and two and a half. They both have Rom. They both have Webb. And then that's where the Similarities end. Hideki versus Fowler, Camp Smith versus Sergio, Colin Morikawa versus Benny On, and Ian Poulter versus Keegan Bradley at the top. Look at all these John Rom tickets now. And that John Rom Webb Simpson combination where you've got the both guys tied for the lead is obviously a very good start. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a quick second, grab a, a little drink of water. I will put the, actually, I'll leave it right here. I'll leave the standings up for a second if you have questions or comments throw them in the chat uh, i'll run through as many I'll, I'll show you whatever you want to show here as we make the turn um, if you want to talk about the model or talk about the standings or anything like that but uh, throw it in the chat we'll just take like a, a two minute breather here and then we'll we'll start the back nine and we'll go from there okay Let me tweet a couple things out here. Um, oh, this is a good question. So uh, Faust asks, are there placement points for daily prizes or just the four day? So the points will, okay. So there are placement points each day. So whatever the score is, you know, at the end of day one, we're going to pay out based on, on these, uh, on these scores. But the overall scoring will only will only look at the final 
placement points, okay? So if you have 200 points at the end of today and you get 200 points every day, like that's not going to happen. You're, we're only, For the overall, we're only going to count the cumulative hole by hole and then your final finishing position for the overall prizes. But for round, round and round, uh, round by round, excuse me, uh, finishing position points will count. They just will not be aggregated each and every day. All right, let me um, let me grab a couple screenshots here. Post these bad boys on uh, on Twitter. Then we'll get we'll get cranking here. The Mojo King. All right, uh, let me just grab this really quickly and we will be good to go here. All right, so we've got nine holes to play. Again, this is just round one. So let's look at the round one payouts. So if you finish anywhere in the top five, you're going to get your money back uh, plus two bucks and you'll be free rolling for the rest of the tournament. Uh, first place each of the rounds is $67, and then obviously overall uh, the payouts are over here. I wanted to keep it kind of flat, um, get get some some decent payouts for each one of the spots here, but not have it be you know too top heavy, uh, of course. So that's what we're gonna roll with. Uh, the tenth hole is uh, this little dog dog leg left. Um, you know, you, you can run out of fairway, this par four, 407 yards. It's more about placement than distance here because you got to hit your second shot in. Uh, not a difficult hole, not a difficult hole. So let's see how our guys can handle this for hole number 10, entering the back nine of round one. Oh, I think there's some really good scores out here. I think there's some really good scores out here. Let's see. Did I, uh, hold on. Okay, I just want to make sure I save those. Uh, okay, so. Let me sort this and see who gets off to a good start on the back nine. Surprise, surprise. Webb Simpson now has not gone. He's not whole, had a three hole stretch in which he has not made a birdie yet. Uh, continues to stay on fire. Louie gets another. He now moves into that second place tie along with Patrick Reed and John Rom. Jason Day. You know, I saw I saw him walking gingerly during the uh, the practice rounds a couple of days ago. He's clearly gotten his stuff together. He has a four under par uh, rounds going right now. It's clean. No bogeys on the card. JT has stalled out a little bit. Three straight holes without taking advantage. Uh, Rory did get one at the 10th. Terrell Hatton, he's got a colorful scorecard today. He's back. Oh, here. Oh, look at this. Colin Morikawa has now made two in a row. So a lot of you have Colin Morikawa in your lineups. He was very quiet for the first eight, but we know the kid's a grinder. So he goes out, he birdies nine, he birdies 10. This might be the start of something special for him. Matthew, or I'm sorry, Scotty Scheffler with the double. That is unfortunate. Paul Casey's poor day. He just can't get anything going, you guys. It is, uh, it's the putter, it's the irons, it's everything going wrong for Paul Casey at the moment. All right, hole number 11. It is a par five. This is gettable. Okay, so you've got a, you know, your second shot. You've got this big long bunker. 
all the way around the green. There's water, you know, if you run it out, run it through the green somehow, you can get into that into that water. Uh, but this is pretty gettable here. Let's see how these guys can handle this. Oh, I think I see a good one. I think I see a good one. Look at this. All right, so uh, if you want to bounce back, there are few bounce backs like making an eagle right after you made a double. So <laughs> Scotty Scheffler uh, has played two holes on the back, and uh, he's even. He's even on the back, but a, a double followed by a an eagle. Uh, Justin Thomas does also make a double on the 11th. It hit his ball, his second ball, into the water. Uh, missed a putt that he should have made for bogey. Ends up tapping in for a double. The top of the leaderboard. Uh, let's see. Phil Mickelson, Sung Kang, they make birdies. Uh, Brendan Todd, Cam Smith. Rory now moves into a big tie for fourth with his, his birdie on the 11th hole. He's now four under through 11. And John Rahm. John Rahm gets one at 11 to move back into a tie with Webb Simpson at the top of the leaderboard. So those two in first alone, uh, Louis now in solo third, and then a big tie for fourth, okay? So that's through 11. Let's see how our teams are holding up here. I'm not sure the Mojo King is still in, is still in the lead. Let's take a little peek, see. Oh, Faust. Foss, the only guy at the tippy top of the leaderboard who's got Rory over Rom trying to hang on to this thing. Uh, the Scotty Scheffler combo is interesting, and, and Brendan Todd in there as well. He's got a one point lead over the Mojo King. It be Brian, yo, is in third. What a great name. So, It be Brian, yo, is in third. UK fan, one, two, three, four, five, and Ty 84 Moss rounds out the top five. That's so good. Um, all right, number 12 is where we're headed now. It is a very short uh, par four, 302 yards. It was designed to play into a risk reward drivable par four, according to this description. A um, lot of birdies are usually made here. Let's see how our, how our guys do. All right, coming at you. Par four, 12. They are now official. Let's go to the leaderboard. And let me get a little sort action in here. Whoops. Let's try that again. Let me get a little sort action in here. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. So here's the guys that uh, were able to take advantage of the 12th. Louie, Hideki, Cantlay, Jason Day, Brendan Todd. I think there's a lot of Brendan Todd uh lineups out there i actually have a brendan todd ticket yeah i got him at um 50 to 1 before this started i should have set odds on this remind me to set odds on these moving forward um i will find a way to do that um match play next week is going to be pretty slick we'll talk more about that as the week goes but i will put them into pods um and then we'll probably you know spoiler alert we'll probably have a bracket too so uh stay tuned stay tuned for that uh, Poulter drops a shot. Phil with his second double of the day. This is very realistic for Phil. Phil makes another double. Uh, Scotty Scheffler, a very colorful back nine, but he's now one under on the back. Uh, Rafa Cabrera Bayo, no good. He bo uh, double bogeys the par for 12th. We now head to 13, which is a 164-yard par three. This is the one where there's like a – this is actually like probably my favorite hole – because there's a little ridge in the middle here where everything kind of runs down towards the water. So I like when the pin is over here on the uh, – it's on the right of the screen, but it's on the left of the green. And you can kind of hit one to the middle and let it trickle down there. That's actually my uh, my favorite hole. So let's go and simulate the par 3 13th hole. All right, these are now official, and we will head back to the leaderboard. 
And there is a really ugly number for one of the top players. I already saw it. Yeah, it's DJ. DJ doubles 13. So as I was kind of alluding to, uh, you know, DJ likes to hit that that big high fade, which is not a great shot necessarily for him here. Started it out over the water. It never faded back, and he plunks one in. He ends up making double. Uh, Jazz, Jana Wananant gets one, gets a birdie. Uh, Morikawa makes another one. He's now one under on the back. Phil Mickelson's colorful scorecard continues. He's gone birdie, double birdie in his last three. And the top of the leaderboard, uh, wow, look at this. We're getting a charge from Louis, who is now in sole possession of first place. Unbelievable. Webb, for the first time in this event, has gone three straight holes without making a birdie. Uh, there are actually, look at this, the top five guys here, all with clean scorecards thus far. So it is now Louie in sole possession of first, a three-way tie, one shot back in second with Simpson, Rom, and Hideki, and then two shots back are Jason Day and Brendan Todd. So we'll do uh, a scoring update here and see how we are looking. Faust. My main man, Faust, back in the lead. Indica 0420 is in second. It be Brian, yo, in third. The Mojo King. I actually think I want to say the Mojo King. I think that's actually funnier. Uh, and then UK fan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, rounding out the top five. Um, this is pretty slick here. Who's in, the, who's in last? I'll give these guys a shout out to Jmart24, Brooks Kepka, Xander, Paul Casey. Ooh, that's the one that's going to hurt you. Sergio Bubba Adam Hadwin. Now the good at least the good thing is for these guys, these lineups, uh, you know, you'll get to use them again tomorrow. So like you get a, a clean slate for round two to kind of wipe these out and try to get try to get some prizes for round two, round three, and round four, even if you are not in it for round one or the overall prize. So uh pretty cool. It be Brian Yo cracks me up. Uh all right, hole number 14. I'm going to change my name to Ippy Rick, yo. Uh, hole 14, 463-yard par 4. Traditionally, this has been one of the toughest holes to play, the narrowed two-tier driving area. Yeah, remember that? Uh, there's kind of like little, I, I guess I would call them moguls, but I guess that's probably not the right word. Um, all right, let's see how they do on the par 4, 14th hole. We're coming down the stretch here. We've got one why can't I count? Five holes to go. So here's what I'm going to do. I will update uh, scoring after, I guess we'll do it after. We'll do it after 15, 16 set. We'll do it. Okay. We'll do it after every hole as we get down to the, to the bottom here. All right. Hole number 14 coming at you. These are official and the leaderboard has been updated. Uh Oh, Faust. I think your guy I think your guy got you. I thought I saw a Brendan Todd double bogey. That might shake up the top of the leaderboard. That might do it. Benny Ahn drops a shot. Cam Smith drops a shot. Terrell Hatton, two in a row, two birdies in a row. Patrick Reed coming for you. And Webb Simpson, he said, okay, I'm going to go three holes in a row. I'm not going four holes in a row without a birdie. He makes one on number 14 so we now have a two-way tie at the top of the leaderboard louis ustazen webb simpson john Rahm and hideki matsuyama tied for third they are one shot back jason day patrick reed they are two shots back now remember the course record is someone correct me if i'm wrong here hideki's course record from oh my god that was only a week ago that feels like 10 years ago but hideki matsuyama shot a course record 60 it had to be a 63 right because it was nine under one week ago, we've got a couple of guys who can put a, a little scare into that. Actually, does that course record count? If that tournament is canceled, like we need EPAT on this or like someone in the know. Uh, I don't know if that course record counts, but that I guess he tied the course record. So the number is still the same, but I don't know if he gets credit for it. Anyway, long story short, we've got a couple of guys vying for the course record right now as we head to the par four 15th hole. 472 yards, dog leg right. Um, I'm trying to picture this one. Why can't I picture this one? Mm, 
I don't know. This one I don't remember. Because then we're going to have the par 5, we're going to have the par 3, and then we're going to have 18. This one is kind of like the forgotten hole for me. But here we go. 472-yard par 4 15th. What I could do is I could just put any names in here. We could simulate Mickey Mouse if we wanted to. All right. Oh, man. We got some guys. We got we got some course record uh, opportunities coming here today. Louis Oosthuizen. Birdies the 15th. He is back in solo first. One under – I'm sorry, eight under through 15. Webb Simpson now a shot back with John Rahm. Uh, as Rom birdied 15, Hideki and Patrick Reed make par. Oh, look at this. Rory, Rory's still hanging tough. I mean, it, it feels like we haven't called his name out a lot because he's kind of just been, you know, making a birdie here and there, but he has a clean five under scorecard. He's still lurking. Jason day, uh, does end up making bogey on the 15th. Any big numbers? Oh no. Colin Morikawa. Oh no. Makes a double on the 15th. Snedeker makes a double on the 15th. And Paul Casey, look at this. Someone in the chat said Paul Casey's going to come back and win this thing or something like that. And uh, that might not be true, but he is. He did make two birdies in a row. Um, so he's still over par on the back. But, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's here. Uh, if you're looking for the payout structure, it, I, I tweeted it. But also, um, I've been sharing this. And I'll, I'll have to update it to the to the uh, description. This spreadsheet, if you have this spreadsheet open, you should be able to click payouts and go see what the payouts are. Um, they are up to date. Everything in this spreadsheet is accurate. So you should be good there. So we're through 15. Um, so I'll show you the scoring now, and then I'll show you after each hole as we come down the stretch here because there are some really good holes coming up. The Mojo King. The Mojo King. 206 points currently in the lead. John Rahm, Webb Simpson, Hideki Matsuyama, Cam Smith, L, actually, and Colin Morikawa to go along with Ian Poulter. So that double did not necessarily hurt the Mojo King. <clears throat> Excuse me. Faust is only two points behind. It be Brian, yo. Only three points out of first. Franchise one. Indica 0420 in fifth. Uh, let's see who else we got here. I know some of these names. Jmart, today might not be your day, but we will uh we'll try again. We'll try again tomorrow. Hell hell yeah, he's in the Slack channel, the DFS on demand Slack channel. All right, let's um let's head over to 16 cuz we can get some fireworks on 16. <coughs> Excuse me guys. All right. Short par 5. This is and someone again will correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, EPAT. See, this is why we need it. Uh, Wikipedia says the 63 from Hideki counts, but it's not an official PGA Tour round, so maybe we don't know. Anyway, uh, this is, I believe, the hole we saw Rafa Cabrera Bayo's uh, albatross, his double eagle, a couple years back. He landed his second, like right in front, like right over this bunker, kind of kicked it forward into the hole. Um, so you can, this is, this is gettable. This whole super gettable. So let's see how, I don't even know how they figure this out here. They're, you're telling me like what 45% birdie, 48% par, no Eagles that who, 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 not the tour players, tour players are making Eagle on this hole all the time. I, don't make me pull it up. Uh, all right, here we go. 16th hole. We are coming down the stretch here. This thing, things are getting spicy in the spreadsheet right now. Hole number 16, the par 5 fifth. Get ready. I mean, all your first-round leader bets. Uh, we'll see if they can cash here. Oh, man. There's movement. We've got movement at the top. We've got – oh, look at this. Paul Casey. Paul Casey coming, J. Mart. He's going to try to help you out, bud. Three birdies in a row. Scotty Scheffler. A lot of Scotty Scheffler birdies. You know, we, this is what we kind of talked about with Scheffler is like uh, – yeah, he's going to make bogeys. He makes a ton of birdies. He's got two eagles on the card today. He's killing the DraftKings scoring, okay? Him and Ricky Fowler are both tied for 26, and Scotty Scheffler's got 12 and a half more DraftKings points. Unbelievable. So, Scheffler, 
makes Eagle on the par 5 16th. I'll scroll up slowly here. A couple of big names making uh, making birdie here. Bryson. Actually, Jordan, look at Jordan Spieth's scorecard, by the way. Jordan Spieth's scorecard on the back. Birdie, bogey, birdie, birdie, bogey, birdie, birdie. Has not made a par on the back yet. Scrolling up, Hatton drops a shot. Sung Kang drops two, but I know there's one coming. Yeah, Rom tr- cannot take advantage of 16. Makes bogey, drops two shots back of Louie, who stays even par on 16. He's, he remains at eight under. Webb and Hideki, one shot back. Rory makes another birdie. This is getting pretty compact up at the top here. Uh, where's Sung Jay in the chat? Oh, yeah, this is, uh, didn't see this one coming. Sung Jay, two over through 16. Uh, not a great day for him. Might be tired out. Might be playing too much golf. Let's go check on the scoring because we're coming down to it now. We've got two holes to go before we pay out the first of the prizes. And it is Faust opening up his lead. Thank you to Scotty Scheffler for that. Uh, Rory and Hideki, I believe, all both also made birdie on the 16th. So that is a fairly uh, good gap for Faust at first. It be Brian Yo jumps up into second. The Mojo King in third. Tie 84 Moss and Indica 0420 to round out the top five here. J Mart has cracked through the 100 point mark. Uh, so good on you there. By the way, Eric Lindros was like my favorite hockey player ever growing up. That was That's an interesting name to see. Okay, here we go. Two holes to go. I think you guys know this one. Now, this is Rory. And his closest 55 PGA Tour friends are making the long walk from 16 green to 17 tee. And I will tell you, that walk is about 100 yards too long, gentlemen. Uh, Rory has told me that personally. Personally, he told me that. Here it is. The Island Green. 143 yards. It's nothing but a pitching wedge. It is an easy shot, except for the fact that it is on an island. That is basically the only thing that makes this difficult. Um, We know everything about it. We know this is the Tiger Woods better than most hole. This is the Russell Knox a million balls in the water hole. This is where Sergio, you know, dunked a couple. This is where Ricky Fowler won it in a playoff. This is where Johnny Vegas hit the longest putt ever. Like, this is it. This is it right here. So let's simulate the par 3 seventh in round one of Spreadsheet. Here we go. The the tournament hinges a lot on this hole. The results are in. I'm going to sort this. And we're going to scroll up slowly here. Uh, Paul Casey, a lot of good work on the back here. Gives one back on 16. Uh, Matt Wallace did hit, hit his ball in the water. He had to go to the drop zone. Uh, made double from there. Andrew Putnam with a birdie. Ricky Fowler, Gary Woodland, two beautiful birdies. Xander, he's kind of making a run here, right? Four of his last six, he's now in the top 10. He's trying to carry those lineups. Cam Smith, three in a row. I'm going to I'm just going to scroll up slowly here. Oh my goodness. Hideki gives one back on 17 three putt. Yeah, that's uh Right up on Hideki, right? I mean, he hit one to the back of the green, rolls, you know, rolls it six feet past. He can't convert the the par putt. Hideki makes bogey on number 17. Patrick Reed makes birdie. So here's where we stand. Louie still holding on to his one-shot lead. If he can birdie 18, he will tie the course record. Webb Simpson and Patrick Reed, two shots back. Then there's a handful of guys. Hideki, John Rahm, Rory, and Cam Smith all two shots back. We've got one hole to play. Let's check out the leaderboard. Does Faust have this locked up? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm sure. Listen, it's spreadsheet golf. I'm sure anything can happen here. But he now does have uh, an 11 and a half point lead over Ippy Brian, yo. 
230 and a half points for Foss. Ippy Brian Yo, 219. SCS Baker with 201 points has jumped into a paying position at the moment. So these are your, your current paid positions. Faust, it be Brian Yo, the Mojo King, Ty 84 Moss, and SCS Baker are currently holding on, but there is a lot, especially for the fifth spot. The fifth spot, there anything can happen here. Uh, there's There can be a lot of juggling. So we are going to head to 18. 18. Where's my little arrow that I can click? 18 is a par four. Uh, there is certainly trouble lurking all the way down the left-hand side. You got to decide how much you want to bite off. There is water, or I'm sorry, there are trees, mulch. You can be in prison if you hit it too far right. So this hole uh, can certainly make or break a golfer, and we have a lot to determine here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to now simulate the 18th and final hole of round one on Thursday. Okay, we got three rounds to go, but this is all your first round leader bets. This is for the payouts. Here we go. These are now official. And I'm going to quickly scroll down to the leaderboard. I, I didn't want anybody to see it. Actually, I have to scroll back up. So here we go. You might see it. Uh, I'm going to sort this by position here and we'll go from the bottom up uh all right sung jay makes a birdie leishman makes a birdie salvage their rounds they get back to even par dj a little bit of a disappointment right even through 18 that's not going to cut it benny on gives up all of his good work on the front he goes out in four under 32 comes in in three over 39 to finish one under 18 uh one under uh through 18 that's not going to cut it who else do we have here Victor Hovland, Adam Scott, Jordan Spieth. <laughs> oh, my God. Jordan Spieth doing his best uh, to win you draft Kings points because he did not have a par on the back nine. He went uh, birdie, bogey, birdie, birdie, bogey, birdie, birdie, bogey, birdie. Uh, unbelievable. We'll continue to scroll up here. Jason Day played his last two hole or last four holes in two over par. He will finish his day three under. Tony Finau did make a charge along with uh, Danny Willett. So Tony Finau played his last three or his last four, three under Tony Finau came in and four under uh, four under 32 on the back. That's a good number. Xander did make par on 18, but had a very good back nine. So he'll be four under heading into the second round. Kevin Na gets on a streak where he birdies his last three to get into the top 10. Oh, man, the sweat is real. Rory, Rory pars 17 and 18. Rom pars 17 and 18. They are now in a tie for fifth. Hideki pars 18. He's still in that tie for fifth. Look at this run from Cam Smith. Four birdies in a row to get in. Uh, thir uh, four under 32 on the back. Seven under par for the day, which means... Your leaders, oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so the top three above Cam Smith all made par on 18. Louis Oosthuizen falls one shot short of the course record but shoots a an 8-under 64 to lead Webb Simpson, Patrick Reed, and Cam Smith by one. Uh, Webb Simpson, his back nine, only, I say only, two under par. All right, so that's the leaderboard. So I will lock in these scores for round one. But let's go check out who cashed in our little contest here. And I'm going to sort this. And we are going to go total. Okay. Congratulations, Faust. You are going to take down round number one with a lineup of Rory, Webb, Hideki, Cam Smith. That fire at the end. Huge. Scotty Scheffler, two eagles in the round. And Brendan Todd, 232 points. You are going to win round one. Congratulations. Ippy Brian, yo, second place. Uh, you had a very similar lineup, except instead of Brendan Todd, you had Adam Hadwin. And instead of Rory, you had John Rahm. The Mojo King in third. Ty84 Moss in 
uh, fourth, excuse me, blind guesses, blind guesses. Where did you even come out of? Where were you before this? You, you rode that Sung J birdie on the last, the Cam Smith, uh, run at the end. You came out of nowhere. You're going to finish fifth and Harbs. Sorry, buddy. You're going to bubble this one. You are uh, going to finish sixth. So here's what I'm going to do. So really quickly here, the payouts. Uh, here are the payouts for round one. So give me a little bit. I'll get these back out to you guys via PayPal. Um, so I'll send over this. But remember, this was only round one. So I'm going to lock in these, uh, these scores for round one. And we will continue with round two tomorrow same time same place 12 p.m eastern right here on the rick run good youtube channel you can go and um set a reminder right now to make sure that you are in this and then um remember that the finishing positions like those finishing position points for today they're not carrying over for tomorrow they will only carry over for the overall finishing positions at the end gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this uh, if you have any questions, concerns, suggestions, the ways to do it are tweet me at Rick Rungood or leave a comment below. I will see you guys tomorrow for round two of Spreadsheet Golf.